Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Monster Train! We are in Covenant 7 with, uh, we randomed a Stygian Awoken pairing over here. Uh, and we've got Tethys going for super discounted spells, uh, which is quite good for taking out, like, normal, uh, enemies. The problem is the boss situation, um, because, you know, you can only cast spells once, and then you have a multi-round combat, and then next floor you can cast spells once, and you get a multi-round combat. Uh, which is really not as good for us, especially because at that point it means Stethys is dead. On the other hand, um, just having something like a Thorn Hollow does make the bosses a lot more um, manageable. Now, what I would like to do with the Thorn Hollow is probably give it a ton more survivability. We didn't roll a health thing, which is too bad. We do have the Rune Stone. We could consider giving it a little slow trickle of armor. Obviously, we can just give it more spikes. We do have the Petrified Crucible, so spikes do more. Here's what I'm tempted to do, though, with this guy. Um, just because mostly I, I'm worried about this guy surviving longer. I'm wondering about throwing the spikes on just about anyone else. The train stewards are still great at tanking. This guy's got tons of health. Like, if I just go ahead and... Sorry about the uh, Gmail bong in the background. Um, if I just go ahead and do this, I mean, I think that might be best. He's got the damage shield and tons of health, so his spikes are going to do lots, especially with the plus one. I think that's probably better, and I'm hoping for a reroll that'll let us get some extra health on the Thorn Hollow. <laughs> Now, the other question, though, is the multi-strike. I think we give the multi-strike to the sweeper. It doesn't make him super vulnerable to thorns. Um, at this point, whether it's a multi-strike or a plus 10, it would come out to about the same in terms of damage. Unless I just... Well, no, not telling you. Um, yeah, this is probably fine. Um, it's cheap. We'll throw it on someone. And maybe we do throw it on you. Because you're, I think, going to go on the bottom floor along with our... Um, our boss dude, so we're gonna be spamming a lot of spells and again the thing I'm concerned about this guy is a little bit of survivability So I think that's probably the best way to go I mean the other thing is obviously we're gonna cast spells wherever this guy is But he's that's not gonna be enough arm to cause him to survive anything and this guy's likely to be in the front. I am gonna reroll Quick's very interesting uh, first what I was thinking of doing is doing this because I'm still worried about his hit points on the other hand We can give it to someone who's got some multi attack, which is I mean, all of our stewards. Now, the flat, just plus 10 attack might be better in the stewards. Or on the sweeper. Which one of these comes out to be better actually depends on a lot of stuff. Because we don't have a lot of ways to snipe people in the back, I think I'm going to put it on the sweeper. It gives us a slightly better way to maybe pull that off. The quick's really good, but we don't have anyone with a, enough damage to necessarily kill people before they do something. It might be worth having a quick sweeper. Because she might be able to snipe the people in the back before they do their bullshit. That's probably the best thing, since we don't have someone with a massive amount of damage. And then the battle stone... Maybe here. Yeah, and just start with a little bit more critical mass, or we give it to someone who's got the multi-strike and just make another tanky train steward. And of course, this is gonna add considerably more damage. It's gonna add 10 more damage instead of five more damage. It's big mostly the question about the health. Um maybe I'll leave I'll leave a socket empty and we'll just try to get a plus 25% health thing on the hollow later on. Um the train steward's gonna get huge value out of this. I think that's probably okay. I think both moves. Are, it's one of those where, like, depending on exactly how an individual round of battle works out, one will turn out to be slightly better than the other, but that might flip in the, the next battle, um, and there's no real way to predict it. Nice to, now I kind of wish I'd taken the healing one. No, we cannot afford to give anyone spell shield. I mean, we do have enough spells that are cheap that we might be able to burn through two stacks of spell shield, but not all the time. On a slay, you gain rage... Now, you're not going to slay anything. Um, annoyingly, we're not going to be able to kill the dude in the back before he does bullshit. Do we put you in front? I think I will. Obviously, at some point, we want someone to, you know, start nailing some thorns on there. Um, do I want to burn the earth and spines this early? Actually, I think I will. Also triggers the incant, which is nice. You'll do 12 to this guy, and it puts us in a better position to maybe get a kill there. Oh, you have sweep too, but that, which is fine. Luckily, your actual damage is low. Oh, I realize I'm going to slow a speed here. All right, loot good over there. Um, okay, we are definitely going to put you here. You'll kill that, which is going to be good. You'll take some damage. 
Um, and I still want you up top. Then the question is, do I... I, I train Stuart or Frozen Lance this guy? I, we've got to kill him. Um... Oh, here's... I can put you here, and that means I can Frozen Lance in the bottom. There we go. And then you get a little Frostbite as well. And Sting anywhere. Okay, you're still full. You're fine here, and you're gonna take that out. So what we want is we want more dudes on this floor, because we are hoping to descend them at some point. Um, it is critically important that I start getting the regen stacking on this guy. First of all, he needs some health, and then that'll embiggen him. We can sting anywhere. You're already dead, which is okay. You're not. Um, you do have the incant. I think it's worth... I mean, there's an incant that's good on both floors, so it's gonna be okay. Um... Do I want to restore here? I think the answer has to be yes. It's He does need to heal a lot, and then that gives him some more thorniness, um, which means now I can only Frozen Lance on the bottom. And then not to play the Train Steward, but I think that was okay. That's a pretty beefy floor over there. We will be able to... Well, you're going to die anyway. Um, we've got the Restoration Detonation. Titan's Tooth is expensive. It's... Oh, shit. We lost, a guy, we lost our, um, our leader here. I think I need Titan's Tooth on the bottom here. Well, it'd be great to do 10 damage to him, though. Or do I just deploy a dude? Maybe, actually, hold on. Maybe I deploy... Oh, there's not enough room there. Okay. I can't Titan's Tooth anymore. Um, I can bop you with the Helical Chrysalis. Or what I could do here is I can sting this guy. And then Helical Chrysalis, it would kill him and apply a little damage there. Although this guy's already going to die. good application of my healing bond? Actually, this is well worth doing. Very efficient move. Yeah, none of the math really changes. Uh, who's, who do we care about incanting the most? Maybe up here. Okay. That's third spell, so we get the extra spell power as well. What we need, and I think it's the Stygian one. We've got the card that, like, deals one damage five times at random. We need one of those. Okay, well... I could do a Descend. You're going to survive, but it's not the end of the world. This floor is going to get sw uh, swept. I think the answer is actually to just put a ton of regen on this guy. I don't know if that changes any of the math, but we want to cast it regardless. Oh, I guess I could have done it on the incant floor, but... You still have some damage shield here, which makes sense. We did have the moment of respite. Um, I think I put the Mollusk Mage down, or do I just want to cast other things? Including potentially just descending someone. You've got the stealth, but this guy's going to live for a long time. If we get a little bit of damage, you're, you're basically dead. I think if I just descend someone, yeah, you're dead. Awesome. It's going to be a long fight. But the, uh, the regen means we were able to tank through the stealth. That made a huge difference. Okay. AoE sap with the offering. I mean, this doesn't get discounted by our dude. It is an offering, but... Um, frozen to a card in your hand. Frozen is removed when a card is played. Unless you can stick around. Uh, but here's our Ice Storm. Yeah, I think that's way too good with our deck. Health and regen. It's expensive. Healing floors cost less. Um, I think I don't want anything here. This is kind of cool. 
No, I don't think I want any of these. Don't think any of them make our deck better and just make it harder. I mean, there's plenty of times I'll wish I had one in my hand, I suppose. But mostly it'll make it harder to pick up the stuff we need. Now, there's a heal here and a remove. I don't, actually don't know how much we need to really remove anymore. And the Frozen Lances aren't, like, the most interesting, but they do work pretty well with our deck. Um, this is good, but we don't have that much cash. And actually, boosting some units might be okay. And this gives us cash. Okay, we're going to go this way. Like, I should boost units first in case we get a duplicate or the ability to add, like, a third mod on something. I could give Endless to another unit. We could also do some more incanty stuff. I mean, you could just stack the incant, which might be okay. Um, here's the plus health, which I want on the Thorned Hollow. I just need him to come in with more hit points so that he survives long enough to get his regen on. That's going to be okay. I think I like the idea of just doubling up on this guy's incant. We could endless this guy, since he's so vulnerable to, like, random stuff. Or we just make these train stewards super annoying. It's not like... I don't know, there's some good stuff with this Mollusk Mage. But these guys are more likely to die. Like, the only the thing that'll kill him is a sweep. I think it's better to do this. Um, I don't think we're going to do anything here. Let's do this. And see what ends up happening. Historian. Right, so one time gain a bunch of money. Pyre gets extra attack from money is actually pretty useful. Deal two damage to enemy unit and slay get money. It's an attack spell. I think we grab this. Now it's late enough that I don't know how much value we're gonna get out of it, but even if we only cast it successfully like slay things once, it's gonna be okay. It's a targeted attack spell, I think. And, and obviously our deck is well built to maximize the value to that. If we're ever going to have a deck where that's a good pick, this is the one. I think we're still okay. We could re-roll here, but no, I think I'll sit on the money. All right, it's going to be Fell. Yeah, removing these cards. That's going to screw our mana curve. And we don't have anything that gives us any extra mana right now. And our pyre is low, so we really do need to make sure to scourge these cards out of here. Okay, good. We do have a sweeper. We want to nuke this guy in the back. There you go, so that you don't add more garbage. Um, it's expensive, but I think I have to go and play this. Again, otherwise it would stain my deck and everything, so I'd just be drawing it. So it's dead draws, and I'd be forced to play it to spend the mana later anyway. So we're going to keep killing these guys. This is really good to have a sweeper. Really, 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 really good for us to have the sweeper here. Um, I think what I need to do is I have to get the Vine Mother, Mother so we can start generating stings, which is good. It'll trigger, like, tons of combo and stuff we've got going on. Can I start applying a little more damage on some of these other dudes? Okay, on the basis that um, this is going to apply more damage to the boss right now, I'm going to put that one down. Even though I was debating not putting anyone else on the bottom floor. Thorn Hollow, so we're going to have to deploy you here. I think I have to keep purging these, otherwise things just get way too brutal. Um... And the order of things doesn't matter. I mean, it could sting any floor, but it doesn't really make much of a difference. You're now going to die, and me... I mean, frozen lancing you, it'll just give us this number. But stinging you is not going to change any of the math here. So I'll just, uh... I don't know, I'll just sting here. There you go. Spell 3, plus 1 magic power. With all the sweepers, we are, like, dealing a, a fair amount of free damage to this guy. And if we did have the thing that the Frostbite didn't decline, it's pretty handy for this. Um, we need to harness the Titan while we've got a handful of as much stuff as possible. Now, we want to trick- we want to get a kill with a Petty Theft. And it's free on this floor, so... Let's do it... I mean, he's gonna die to the sweep anyway. Hold on. Can we- can we arrange something... Thirty-three. 
Uh, so that's an extra 30 damage. No, okay. No, I will do that. We'll kick the gold. That's going to be okay. Um, this is going to die. We're not doing any damage up here. If we had a creature, I'd probably summon it now. Um, let's get uh, let's get some regen operating on this guy. This is going to die anyway. I mean, we could get extra stacks of armor. I'm going to die regardless. It doesn't... What I should probably do is just apply some spell damage up here. All right. Because I don't think any of the outcomes anywhere mattered or changed. So you'd finally die here, although I can boof you. Ice Storm. Can I trigger... It's three spells, period, right? I wonder if I can trigger a spell before I get this. Or I can get the Mollusk Mage. Actually, we have enough room for this. And I, I'm going to put it on this floor. Urchin Spines, which will go on the boss. Um... If I sting you, now you're going to die. There you go, plus one spell power. Now, yeah, okay. And, yeah, let's just trash this. Or I could keep you alive. It actually might be better to keep this guy alive. Let's do that, and then what I can do is I can put the regen on this guy. Alright, we're going to take five, and he's, it's still going to be in my deck. It is a pretty big sacrifice to have chosen that, but it made our, straw, our turn otherwise look much, much, much stronger. Um, we still need Infinitude Regen on this guy. So, let's do that. There's no room for the Train Steward. I will put deploy the Train Steward here so we can start whittling this down. Um, may as well, offering here to cut back on a little bit of stuff. Um, the Free Frozen Lands can go there. The second one doesn't matter. And we'll sting here. Yeah, may as well hit the boss. Because why not, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and burn that away. Because, you know, at this fight, if we do get to the pyre health, I mean, it might make a difference. On the other hand, something else. So I can't cast both of these, but I need to make sure they stop accumulating. So I got to do that. Um, I think I, I got to harness the Titan whenever you get an opportunity, right? And then, well, these things are free anywhere. Do I want to go and trash this? Well, this guy wouldn't die. There we go. Now you're going to be dead. So don't need to cast any more spells here. So I may as well sting this guy. And then we're going to take some more pyre damage. Yeah, without having extra mana, it hurts. On the other hand, well, maybe we don't need the capacity as much anymore. Okay, is there preferred order? Um, well, first of all, the Petty Theft. We don't need any extra damage on this guy. It's going to get a kill here, and it's going to give us the cash, which is going to be lovely. Um, rest re restoring Retreat. I think we're going to go and do this. You will be in the back. But that's going to be probably okay. Plus one magic power. Alright, I mean, we're still not going to finish it here, unfortunately. He does have a lot of attacks. And the multi-attacks are going to do well against our damage shields, but... Would have been nice to obviously have Mr. Thorny in the front, but, you know... Um, the Drain would do pretty good against the multi-attack of this guy. The Spikes punish him a fair bit. Okay, I think the Stings are a no-brainer. Yeah, this is gonna hurt a lot. You with the Spikes. I think, actually, another Train Stuart makes more sense than draining him. I guess I still can. You do it this way, because you have a bigger attack. I drain you. Does it make a difference? Not really. Because, so... Well, his first turn, his damage doesn't matter. He's just going to pop two damage shields. His second turn, he'll still have sap two, so he'll be at six damage. He's got a lot of hit points. Maybe it, maybe it is better than hitting him with just a Frozen Lance for 12. Yeah, it really didn't change the math too much. 
And we do have endless guys going to come back here, so we know we're going to have um, another dude who's pretty decent up here. Okay, I think casting a dude... There we go. I'm going to say it's probably the best. Respite. Okay. Whew! Man, I was nervous. Okay, I think this um, this tells me what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for plus one energy. This is only in the, the row that he's on, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, one day we'll have to take that so we can golden fight. I think there's some good value, and I'm going to take plus one energy. Uh, you know, capacity could still have value, but because we do actually have the descend card, it's a little less critical. Okay, free artifact. Artifact vendor, maybe. Cavern's really powerful. Um, healing could be useful. Duplicate a card. Here's the thing. I could duplicate Harness the Titan. I don't think that makes much sense. Holdover would be better, because what we don't want is we don't want to hand with two Harness the Titans. Duplicating Ice Storm, if we had upgraded it, would be pretty sick. There's some e interesting things you can do with that with the Titans. Too. But the thing is, if they're all, I feel like they're all reliant on maybe having upgraded first. I think going here for the free artifact, seeing what's in the cavern, um, taking potentially buying an artifact here, I think that's much better. First, I'm going to see what's for sale. Playing a spell deals two damage to a random enemy on that floor. Uh, that's pretty amazingly cool. Token of a traitor I think we're going to want. Um, I don't think we need the jack strips. Do you agree? We got enough splash. We got sweep. Like the what this would do, this would kill little baby units. We already killed little baby units. I'm gonna take this to remove some buffs. That's gonna be okay. Um, let's check the caverns now. Let's see what we're getting there. Make a unit fat and amazing, or make a unit tiny. I don't think we have a big unit. We do have this one that's three. We could make him tiny, which would be okay. I don't know if, like, making unit fat and amazing, we do have some multi-strikers. Like, um, since he's going to become, like, very bulky, we could put it just on this train steward here, as opposed to the endless one. He's already got a ton of stats. He would become size 4. I think that's a little too cumbersome for us to work with. So that's a lot of stats. Oh, God. Or we could put it on her. She'd be size 4, but has the, the quick sweep. Might be able to snipe more things off quicker. Um, or the... since Okay, since the quick... Probably still not going to be in a position where she can one-shot big dudes. The quick was there so she could one-shot small dudes before it do your thing. But it's still, even with the plus 20, plus 30 attack. Um, yeah, I don't know. But if we make the multi-strike sweeper be ginormous, he turns into a death machine. I think that might make the most sense. I don't think we need to make him bigger. He basically deploy on the floor by himself until we descended him. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. He's pretty scary all of a sudden. If I didn't have the descend, I kind at this point I kind of want a second descend card. I think this is really strong for us. I could purge. I could. I could re. Well, no, I can reroll because I can't buy a trinket. No, that's gonna be fine. Now, do we want to go minus three? I don't know that I care about that. Yeah, we got some three casting cost up, but we did take the plus one energy thing. I don't think we need to do that. I think what we'll do is this. Is it'll help deal with the fatties that we can't kill right away. Um, the frostbite tent. I mean, in a sense, he's going to have an attack of 40, right? Because it's going to be 30 normal damage on the frostbite, but that's going to tick again. So in practice, it might be more like 49 damage. Or maybe even 57 damage. And if somehow he lands a blow on the boss that keeps ticking for many rounds, 
And actually, when it comes to the fighting the boss phase, it's going to be much, much, much better. Okay. Um, I mean, coins are good, but no, we're not going to throw a bunch of spikes on here. We're especially since we're only at half health right now. I really don't want to increase the difficulty of this. Uh, all right. Well, Tethys can come in here. We could put the giant fatty dude as well. And it would be nice to have a sweeper, actually. Actually, we almost want the quick sweeper. We want to kill this guy. Yeah. I'm going to put the quick sweeper down, because I want that to die before it does its multi-strike stuff. Then we only have capacity for three, which is fine. We'll put you down here. I'll deploy you here, and hopefully we can descend you. And then I might as well still drop a drain on someone. Hoi! Wait. Oh, any spell deals some damage. Okay. I mean, didn't change anything. Okay. Well, I'm still going to deploy you up top. I'm going to want to descend this guy. Let's do that. I mean, he's not going to be the priority for descending, but he's going to be something. Um, and then... Someone's got to go up here. Maybe both someone's. I mean, as well, right? Now, do I just want a Bone Rattler for zero? Yeah. Like, it's nice if I get a freebie, but it's not a, it's not a big deal. Oh, I, I could have chosen what floor to cast it on. That's true. You do two free damage to something. I don't know if there's any place where it matters. Yeah, routinely killing those guys before they multi-strike. This quick sweeper is insanely good. Same thing's gonna happen here. Um, they're all gonna die. Like, if I sting or whatever, these guys are all gonna die from the quick sweep. So, it makes no difference. Um, do this. I need to make sure to petty theft to kill something. So, okay. I'll just uh, do that. That's fine. Well, free damage over there. Um, restoring retreat. Well, I want to move you, but if I just move you right now, this guy dies. So I think I'll do that, even though the health on this guy would be amazingly good. You're practically dead. Do this. Um, yeah, I'll cast you. Put the spell weakness on you. I was like, I could save it for the boss or something, but... bunch of frostbite on that guy. Actually, here's an interesting thing. Pairing the quick sweeper with uh, Tethys, who's got the frostbite, means that the frostbite's gonna go on Fatty, even if he's not in the front of the row, which is kind of nifty. Um, there's enough room to put a dude here, so I probably will. Um, this is not the thorny guy, so I'm gonna give you a tanky one here. And then it doesn't really matter... Where and in what order, although we definitely want to drop a giant heal on this guy. Excellent. And some more healing. Excellent. And in terms of cast order, well, actually, it's its full value out there. Um, yeah, well, everything's going to die. Any chance I could kill this dude before... Okay, these are all going to die to the sweep. We're going to take no damage. Yeah, I can't. I can't stop us from uh, from taking from losing a damage shield over there, but that's fine. Okay. Brief respite. Um, well, big thorny dude. We want you to gain a ton of regen and a ton of regen and a ton of regen. You can just tank the crap out of the boss, and um, we want to make sure to. Ask spells for armor, and also to make sure the forgotten name, but that was that already happened because of the regen stuff. All the stings go off. Almost two hit points is what he'd survive with if we did nothing. Oh, it's amazing. Um, here. Now you're already dead, but now you're more dead. Now you're more dead. Now you're more dead. Now you're more dead. No, now you're not dead. What did I do? Oh, the revenge. Whoopsie. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna win. 
<laughs> this is what I get for like not just being like no no just 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 let it just let it be it's fine. All right, this is gonna be a long round though. I can't build. The <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I mean, we better just have the kill, right? Yeah, you're gonna. Okay, let's not cast anything. You've got the kill. Just let it be. Thank you. There you go. But yeah, we were giving him a lot more attack damage. Um. We don't really have room for more of these dudes. Incant Frostbite. It is cool. I mean, all these are actually really cool. Unless I take a Guardian Stone just to uh, to gold it up. But no. Yes? And that's only on its row. This is pretty handy for popping our thing. I think we do this. Yeah, no, that, that's going to be nice. We did take a little Pyre damage. Last fight here. Um, the heal might be worthwhile. Spell boost would be good. Money is good. I don't want to duplicate any card. Unit upgrades. We could duplicate the card to draw more cards, actually. Um, we don't really need to remove things. I think I'm going to go to the left. Because I think it's possible the heal will make a giant difference. I take the money. I'm going to peek at the artifact selection here. Uh, Alright, below. Summon the second unit. Gain things. First time each turn a friendly unit is healed, draw one. That actually will turn into a ton of card draw. Permafrost I don't care about. This would actually become insane. Like, yeah, it gets consumed. But it would be insane on the turn it gets cast. And there's not, we don't tend to, our deck's big enough, we're not really going to see these guys twice a lot. I think that might be really good. I think that might be really good. Okay, I'm going to take the Sap Tap. That's just the final room. It is really cool, but I think we'll appreciate the card draw. I suppose I could just grab two of these, but I think we want to do the, um, the spell upgrades. I think I do like the idea of just adding stupid amounts of flat damage to this thing. Um, one of these two. Probably because they don't get discounted from stuff, right? Um, it might be more important, actually, to do this at a key time. Although this does multiply and load us up with expensive stuff. And if we just make it cheaper, then it becomes better to have a bunch of this stuff in our discard pile. If I could get a second minus one upgrade and just have this be free. Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll do that. I think I'm going to reroll now. Frostbite 20 AoE. Lots of spell weakness. Lots of regen. This becomes, like, much, much, much better to cast. Um, magic power on something that double tap... Or on this thing. Um, I mean, it does get consumed, right? So it's like... It does become... It is insane on the turn, but it's already insane on the turn we cast it. Where this is something we're going to cast repeatedly. We could do the Petty Fest thing, but the money's not going to matter anymore. In fact, purging it might make sense, but that was the last of our money. I don't know if that's the order I want to do things in, but apparently that's the order things are going to happen in. 83 HP. Guy that removes buffs and debuffs. Right, so maybe I shouldn't have gone the thorn side so much. I don't know. And the regen, actually. Mm, might still be okay. Okay, that is a lot of damage on the ground floor. Although this guy will live through it. Uh, it's like, third spell! If we don't get to draw a card, if we'd drawn something um, that was an attack spell, we would have been able to cast it for free. Would have also given us an extra spell power. Well darn. I don't think I can kill the sweeper first, can I? Um, I can get a little close. Okay, if I'm Mollusk Mage, this heals for, or hits for 84. No, it's not enough. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. 
I think we're just... I think we're gonna die here. Um... Wait, he doesn't do that much damage. He's got the sweep, so he'd kill the Mollusk Mage. But he doesn't kill anything else. And actually, there, with the quick... Oh, we don't have the room. Shit. I can only snipe... Actually, I can't even kill you with a snipe. That's not true. What I can do... Okay, I'm gonna put down the Mollusk Mage. Because then I can slay one of these guys. And there you go. My boss guy will survive with his huge... Um, so I'm gonna put you here... And actually, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, where am I? No, you're no. So an extra three points of damage here doesn't make a difference. You're gonna get killed from this guy. Actually, wait. What are you? How are you gonna die? Oh, because of the frostbite. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference. Alright, come on, big fatty. Uh, that is not my big fatty. We have our ice storm, though. thing is, we need to kill both of these. Oh, unless I just put the Bind Mother down. Ooh. Just to tank. I don't want that. How much armor can I get this guy? Okay, no, I think this can work. Although, I can't get the, um... I can't get a spell boost. Well, it would only be plus one. So it doesn't make a difference there. Okay, as long as that one dies, then we're okay. And you're gonna quick sweep over here. I could drop a heal on you. I mean, if I drop the heal anywhere over here, say on my dude, this guy would get a little bit more armor, which may really be worthwhile. I don't know, she's actually gonna be pretty key. Let's make sure she doesn't die. You would die here, but we've got ways to boop you. Um, I've got my thorny dude, who I'm totally going to put down here. No, we don't have the descend, right? No. Restoration detonation. Take 180 points, punk ass. No ember drain, no sweep shit for you. Okay. Now you're only free down here, so obviously you're going to get cast down here. Sting could be cast anywhere. Let's do that to keep you alive. Thank you. Okay. I'm stabilized, although I'm still very nervous. Thing is, if we'd lost our boss guy like that early, we wouldn't be able to cast enough spells. Titan's Tooth is going to be a pretty big start over here. Although I may want to cast the spells in a slightly different order. Um, okay, that kills you. You still survive. Um, although I can put a Train Steward to block for you. Which I probably will do. Okay. I don't actually have to cast anything else up there, really. Um, you're going to take a lot of damage. We need to make sure we do this. Um, two more spells if we want to buff this thing. Alright. There we go. Take all these jackasses. Um, keep hitting here for the incants, or, so me hitting here is not going to change anything, although it means we'll take a little less damage on the pyre. Um, oh, I can't, I can't cast this anywhere else, never mind, I have to cast this here, 
And then I guess we'll bone rattle for one, and we've got lots of ink hands on this floor, so we'll do it on this floor. Okay. Yeah, Pyre definitely gonna take some damage. Okay, there's the sweeper and the ember um, drain generator, who sucks and we hate him. Um, I think we want to keep putting a ton of regen on this guy. We want to cast one more spell before we Titan's Tooth. There we go. Seven point sting. That's perfect. Because that guy gives us the plus one. Definitely want to AoE here. Um, if I do this, then you'll die. So no damage there. What I'll do is I'll put you in front because you have a damage shield again. I mean, it's going to hide the guy with thorns, but his thorns are being stripped off by this guy anyway. Okay. It's, I mean, this is skin of our teeth here. I have no idea. Um, I, I feel like this, the start of this fight was really rough. Okay. Well... That's too good. We have to do this. Um, I think I will just throw you in front of here. Uh, you will survive. I'm going to see what we can do here. Um, and then, yeah, we're out of juice. All we can do... The stings are free regardless of where I cast them. Um, oh, I think we can get a kill on this guy. There we go. This is important with this stupid sweep ember drain shit. 43 HP left. Final wave has begun. Okay, I got two mana left over, and a bunch of dudes who aren't gonna die. Um, although, I don't have to kill the... Actually, we're nowhere close to killing the boss, but... Okay. Oh yeah, we're still nowhere close. Oh no, no, we're dead. Probably should have never picked up the spreading sports. Well, mm, hey, I don't know. Because, yeah, we're not killing him. Like, not even close. These guys are ascend. They might actually kill um, things. Uh, we can sting you for 10 to get you out of the way. You multi-attack, so you go through this shit fast. I mean, you'll sting yourself a little bit. Frostbite, but yeah. Like, yeah, we, we can't we can't even come close. I mean, maybe I could work on killing some of these dudes, change some things, and survive an extra round, but I don't think it makes a difference. Um, is this a second hunt? Yeah, with a spell-centric deck, we get obliterate. I think we really... I think the spell-centric stuff is good, but I don't think I... I think I'm making a mistake by leaning so heavily into the spell stuff. It feels so good to get so many synergies, but to beat the boss, you need a big, durable fatty, and we weren't able to execute that in this run. And I don't think... I think the last time we did something very similar to this, this is two runs ago, right? I think with the Stygian, I think we, um, we also lost. I think I can look at some of the stats in here, and maybe I'll take a look at that, but I think that's the thing. Um, it's possible, I mean, well, it's very likely, in fact, that in multiple ways I'm using the spells wrong, but I think part of it is either deck's got to stay way smaller than it is, or it should be more committed to the uh, the creature side. The thing is, with the uh, Stuart's upgrade and them being so tanky, it made it feel a little bit more viable, but it just, it comes down to the boss situation because we don't have someone who can just sit there and fight back and forth for multiple rounds, except Mr. Thorny, but he didn't come close to pulling it off. There's just too many big dudes there. Folks, thanks for watching another video. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.